and welcome to Vlogmas. Today I don't remember. Good morning everybody. Today is Monday and let me just see what the date is. By the time you're watching this it'll be further along. December 4th so tomorrow, no not tomorrow. Three days <laughs> Blake will be um, five months old so yay she's getting so big. Part of me wants it to like slow down but Anyways, um, my mom is coming for lunch later on and then we're gonna go to Winners because I need um, wrappings, um, like Christmas wrapping to wrap all the presents. And I also um, wanna get some stuff. I'm gonna stop at like the Sobeys to get some baking stuff because I wanna bake. I wanna make Christmas Rice crispy Squares because my husband requested those. Chocolate chip cookies because he also requested those. And I wanna make, um, these are like um, hot cocoa muffins. I have a recipe. So um, I wanna do some baking. And this morning, I'm just basically doing laundry and I wanna clean the bathroom and stuff like that. Um, not a whole lot going on as per usual um, tonight we're organizing the dining room because um, Colin didn't get home till late not late but he was really tired so I didn't want to make him move the couch and all this stuff so um, we are gonna move switch out the rugs and get the dining room all organized which I'm super excited about and um, yeah so I'm just going to do a little laundry and then clean the bathroom and then yeah we'll go from there so I changed my outfit because I was way too hot. So I just got this top off of, um, this was Forever 21 a really long time ago. I don't shop there anymore, but um, I did get this from there. And I just had dark jeans on. And then if, or when we go out later, I'll just throw, um, throw on my sweater as like a jacket. Um, so it's now 10 after 11. I cleaned the main floor bathroom and I vacuumed the upstairs and I have a little laundry in. The missus woke up from her nap and say, I'm five months old soon. Yeah, yeah. She has a pink bow in her hair and her three month Carter's pink sweater. So some of the three month stuff that Carter's has is bigger, like they're off with their sizing. And her little strawberry pants. <gasps> yeah, and she's got this creepy dolly, but she loved it. Oh, dolly, so nice. And I was watching the view. And yeah, it's a little heated, so. Oy, oy <laughs> So I just finished um, washing the floors really quick. Ah! <gasps> Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, hi. She's so cute. Um, so yeah, I just finished washing the floors and um, Colin had a handprint on the wall, so <laughs> um, I washed that and uh, my video's uploading. There's another mark on the wall there. Oh dear God. I swear you can't keep the house clean. So a lot of people were asking me if I have a cleaning routine and I just wanted to say really quick, I don't have a set routine. Um, I basically kind of do a clean as I go kind of thing. Um, and also I do do the bathrooms like once a week. I'll vacuum, I vacuum every day and I wash the floors about every other day, every two days. Um, dusting's usually about once a week or once every two weeks, um, and so on and so forth. So basically, whenever I just get a minute to quickly clean something, that's what I do. And that really helps keep my house clean, because if I leave it all for a week, everything's gonna be so overwhelming where, you know, if I'm done my makeup and she's still sleeping, I'll be like, you know what, I'm gonna clean the bathroom really quick. I spray down the sinks, I wash the toilet, the back of the toilet, 
um, and I'll vacuum. And then, you know, the next day if she's down for a nap, I might wash all the cabinets and the countertops in the kitchen down. Um, or today she was napping, so I did the main floor bathroom, vacuumed, and washed the floors. Um, you know, you just kind of pick and choose and just like clean as you go. Do a little something every day. That makes the biggest difference and it really helps keep your house clean. Um, where if you wait till like one day a week or like a Monday, Thursday, like Tuesday schedule, um, it makes it harder where I feel like if you clean a little bit every day, just a little something, then it's not so overwhelming and your house will always stay clean or as clean as it possibly can. Obviously, if I did not have a 90 pound German Shepherd, um, my house would be a lot cleaner because I wouldn't have all the hair. Yeah, she's like, mom, who are you talking to? Um, I would have the house a lot cleaner because I wouldn't have hair everywhere and dirty paws and stuff like that. But, you know, I just try my best. So I do vacuum every day just really quick. It takes me 10 minutes. That might be my mother. Um, and, you know, the dusting is the one that I let stretch out um, a lot more. Oh, that's so nice. Um, so yeah, I. That's what I do, and it really <laughs> found a sock. It really, really helps. Oh, that matches this one. It really helps keep everything kind of clean and same with laundry like I try and do almost a load of laundry every day just to keep up on it so it's not so overwhelming and then you know your house stays nice and clean so that's kind of my tip is just to do a little something every day you know like after dinner too sorry I'm trying to move the sock after dinner too I always clean the dishes and then I'll just automatically take some dish soap and wipe down all the counters and like maybe the appliances and if you do that like every day um, it takes two seconds and then your house will be clean so that's my little tip for today on cleaning so <clears throat> excuse me I made my mom and I a salad and I also have some tea ready so I'll just show you um, so this one's mine because I'm breastfeeding and I just eat more. So that's mine. That's my mom's. They both have the same thing in them. So it's just lettuce and then veggie grounds, some dried cranberries. Um, we split a half, um, so we each have half, half an avocado, cucumber, and tomato. And then the dressing is just olive oil, vinegar, pepper, and a little bit of maple syrup. And then she's got a green tea and a red rose tea, and I'm just boiling that right now. So, and the little missus, I put her in this chair because her other chair, that one right there, she can get out of. So, well, she hasn't actually got out of it, but any day it was gonna happen, I think. So now she's in this one until the one that I ordered her off Amazon comes in the mail. So the one from Amazon, I'll have to show you when it comes in, but it's basically like it sits her up um, and it's like a floor seat and it's got a tray so you can like feed her and stuff so it's kind of cool so that's coming in the mail and yeah I don't know how we're gonna go shopping because she needs a nap in about 20 minutes so unless my mom decides to stay or I go on my own I don't really know but we'll figure something in so there she is say hi oh crazy baby so I just got home from the post office. Mom and I didn't go um, to Winners because um, the baby was sleeping so someone had to stay here and I didn't feel like going all the way um, to where it was. So I just went to the post office and I bought a bunch of stuff to do some baking. So we're gonna do that now. So <laughs> baby girl's here. Um, so I'm just gonna make something out of the Food Network magazine. Um, there's chocolate chip cookies I want to make which are right here. These crispy triple chocolate chip cookies. So I'm gonna make those and have my little helper here. So I got through one batch of cookies. They are in the oven right now. I wanted to make some muffins um, next, but the little missus was getting fussy in her chair. She wanted to be picked up, so we might have to do muffins another day, huh? Or when you go for another nap. So yeah, but they look really good. I used white chocolate chips, um, milk chocolate chips, and butterscotch 
chips. So they should be pretty freaking delicious. And I ate my share of raw cookie dough because it's amazing. And I know everyone says, you can get salmonella, my mama. Well, I have been eating cookie dough and I know lots of people that eat raw cookie dough for a long time and that's literally never happened. So just saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they're in the oven currently. Um, for about 17 minutes and it said it makes 36 cookies but I always like bigger cookies I don't like the dinky little things so I think I have 24 or 28 in there um, and then I just all clean up the dishes after um, but yeah so I feel a little so <laughs> like always after I eat cookie dough I'm like oh my stomach <laughs> and it's not from the egg it's just because if you eat like um that's like eating a couple cookies, I'm I'm sure. So um, I'm a little bit like, Ugh. but anyways, it's three o'clock. She's gonna have to go for a cat nap at four um, because she woke up at quarter after two. So excuse me, she'll have to go for a cat nap. And then I'm gonna make some turkey bacon cheddar burgers for dinner with sweet potato fries. And then obviously we'll have cookies for dessert because I've been watching like Christmas baking challenge and stuff. So I am like madly craving baking and cooking and stuff like that so um side note um I'm like way I'm 32 days um in for when I'm supposed to get my period and I saw a lot of people online said that they got their first period um because I got my first period I got my period back four months postpartum um, but it doesn't look like the second one's coming anytime soon. And a lot of women said that they got their first period and then they didn't get the second one till like two to three months later. So I think that's going to happen with me, which is so great because I cannot at all track ovulation. Although like I know I can feel it, but I've been crampy on and off since having her. So I'm like, I don't know. So we're just going to have to be careful. But um, I mean, if we get pregnant again, I'd be thrilled. So whatever. But anyways, I'm going to go and play with the missus. Cookies are all done. Yum yum. <laughs>